What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Hopefully your blanket doesn't stink that bad. Um, if it does, <laughs> better get it professionally done. Um, so we're gonna be looking at how to clean our blankets today and take care of the wool that we spent our hard earned money on, okay? So um, any manufacturer you buy a high quality wool blanket from is most likely gonna tell you dry clean only. And the reason for that is repeated washings and dryings of the wool blanket is going to degrade the wool itself it's going to remove a lot of the lanolin from the wool and it is going to break the fibers down over time and then what's going to happen is you're going to ruin your blanket so you want to try to stay away from washing it yourself okay take it to a professional dry cleaner now um, I could tell you from years of using wool blankets I've never had a blanket that has been that horrendous with smell and dirt that I couldn't take care of it with these steps that I'm going to show you today but again they my blankets are like strictly for outdoor use, wood use. I'm not like taking them out and then I'm not going home putting them on the bed. The blankets on our beds are just like in-house blankets. So when we wanna wash those, we take them to the dry cleaner and get them done. So for your woodland blankets, just do these things and you'll be fine. All right, so step one, you wanna keep your wool blanket dry. So what I mean by that is if you're in adverse weather and your blanket gets wet or you dump something on it, you don't immediately have to do this, but you don't wanna store your blanket away while it's wet because it will get mold or milk do on it and get a real bad smell to it. So you wanna hang your blanket out and let it just air dry. That is very important we always keep our blanket dry. Now, if our blanket gets muddy, I consider that wet. So that mud, just let it dry. It, it, don't worry, we're gonna get to it in a second, right? So we let it dry and then what we're gonna do is you're gonna grab a brush, okay? We keep a brush like this in our cabin for just this purpose. Once it's all nice and dry, just, just scrub it, okay? Now, yes, there's gonna be a little residual there. But initially, you're gonna get all that real heavy mud and dirt off of that thing. And then you're just gonna go outside and then just beat it off a tree or a stump or something like that. No joke, it's gonna get all of that, that real loose dirt that we just scrubbed that didn't come off with the scrub brush out fluffy and into the air. Now that should generally take care of most stuff. Now if you really have it and it's really, really caked in, you can get some water on your brush and then you could scrub that lightly, okay? It is gonna be wet, you're gonna let it dry again and you're gonna take a dry brush and you're gonna scrub it. So you see the key factor here is whenever your blanket's wet, allow it to naturally dry and and then spot clean it with your brush. Okay, so once you get past that step, you have this blanket. Let's just say that you've been sleeping a lot in the summer with it and you're sweating a lot on it and starting to get a smell to it. The air is gonna be your best friend. So you're gonna go, you're gonna find yourself an area that has nice breeze blowing through it and you're literally just gonna set yourself up a clothesline and you are gonna hang out your blanket. Just let nature take care of it, okay? A nice light breeze through this blanket for a few hours is really gonna freshen the thing up. Again, the makeup of wool it's generally not gonna hold a lot of smell or contaminants in it, okay? So just letting the air through it. Now, this time of the year, we have no sun. It's constantly cloudy here. So in the summertime, hanging this out with some sun, it really does it in, okay? It'll heat it up, it really clears it out. The thing smells super fresh by the time you're done and you're good to go. All right, and then the last and final option, okay? If you still don't feel like just a nice breeze in the forest is gonna get that wool blanket back to smell and being refreshed, you can set it by a campfire. Now, we're not trying to cook the wool blanket, folks. I'm not trying to do that. But find out what direction that smoke is blowing, set up another clothesline, and hang your blanket in the direction of that smoke. Smoke itself will kill some bacteria. It's antimicrobial, so it is going to help if there's any bacteria or anything in there to freshen that thing up. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Well, if I get a campfire, it's gonna smell smoky. Yes, it is, but if you're using it out in the woods, as your outdoor blanket anyway, it probably is gonna naturally have that smell. But if you don't want that smell after you smoke the blanket, you can really easily go back over to your other clothesline that's away from the campfire and hang that out for a while and reduce that smoke smell tremendously. Oh, one hot tip. So if your fire's cooking and you have really good wood and you don't have a lot of smoke, just go grab some evergreens. Something like this is gonna do the trick. It's almost like we're making a signal fire. What you're gonna know is there's lots of smoke and that smoke, hopefully, if the wind's blowing, is gonna pour right through my wool blanket 
doing what we need it to do. Now just make sure when you do this that you keep your blanket far enough away. We don't want to catch our blanket on fire. Please don't catch your blanket. Don't email me you caught your blanket on fire. And there you go, that is my woodland dry cleaning method. So you can interchange them steps however you need depending on your situation and depending on your actual wants and needs for the blanket itself and how you want to keep it clean. Ultimately though, if you want the deepest clean that you can get on the thing and you want it back to brand new condition, you are going to have to take it to the dry cleaner. But if it's your woodland blanket and your camp blanket, these things work absolutely fine for doing this. And if you're not in a situation in which you have a clothesline out in your backyard, or anything like that, it's a great reason and excuse to get out in the woods for the day. You're like, I gotta I got go clean all my wool stuff. Pack up your bag and you're out of there, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button down below. Also go check out our Coal Cracker Gear YouTube page, which we talk about the gear that we sell on our website. So that's a pretty fun one. And then also check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com for all our classes and our merchandise and all that fun stuff. And uh, that's about it. So until next video, Smoke your blankets and stay in the woods.